What is going on guys? Sir Lionheart here with my entire game collection as of right now. Now I did this video twice before. No, you know what? Once before I split them into multiple parts, but the reason I'm redoing these vi this game collection video is because the quality on those last other videos were so bad. Like you can barely uh, I looked at them the other day, I'm like, dude, I should just redo this that shit is just horrible the, the quality on that video those two videos were just so bad so I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much re-examine all the games I own uh, entirely for the PS3 and all the other games I you know for the consoles and shit so anyway let's get started with the PS2 stuff Star the Ocean now normally like I was saying before in the other videos if you haven't watched them before I keep the receipt for whatever games I buy. Now, I want to see where I bought this from. From GameStop. Let's see this. I don't even think you can see it. No, you cannot. It's so bad. But the date says it was on the set. It was on the 9th of November 2007. Holy shit. Holy shit. This this is actually a pretty fun game. Yeah, Star Ocean, this was the first game of the series I actually played. And not a lot of people like the plot twist to the game, but I thought it was pretty cool. It was unique at the time for the plot twist. The plot twist, I don't want to spoil anything, but it was, it was pretty damn game changing. Well, not game changing, but the series, people just thought of the series just died after this because of the plot twist that was in this game. I don't think so. It was still interesting. But anyway. Ultimate Ninja 3. I put like hundreds of hours into these games. <laughs> I was a big fan of Naruto back in the day. Oh my goodness. This was, when did I buy this? This game was hella fun and the, the graphics were pretty nice too. I like the damn art style they had going for the Ultimate Storm. Not the Ultimate Storm, but the, the Ninja, the Ultimate Ninja series was pretty cool. And as you can see, everything is still in crisp, con uh, crisp condition. Like I normally keep all my games. Look at that. Look at it. I'm not sure if it's focused, but whatever. So on to the next game, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X, as I guess other people would call it. The greatest hits version. Now this was one of the first Final Fantasy games. I think yeah, this was the first Final Fantasy game I beat. It's the only Final Fantasy game I beat. I, I think I beat four. But this was the first game I ever played and beaten of the Final Fantasy series. It was pretty cool. Titus was a pretty cool character. This damn case is beat up, man. <laughs> I had it for over, ever since I was in seventh grade. Ever since I was in seventh grade, I had this copy. Greatest, the greatest hits version. I had the black label copy, but my brother sold it. So, but anyway, yeah, let's put that down. Oh yes. This game right here is one of the best Tales games. One of the better Tales games, I, I should say. Story-wise, at least. Tales of the Abyss was the second Tales game I ever played. And then, I, I like the character development in this game. Well, for the main character, for Luke. People thought he was annoying and shit, but I, dude, man, he was pretty cool. He was pretty cool after um, what happened in uh, the middle of the game, was it? Or was it at the beginning of the game? Well, it's something... I don't want to give away spoilers, but he pretty much he pretty much did something completely horrible. I don't think he knew what would happen when what he did what he did. I didn't know. I think he didn't know what would happen when he did an action. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I don't think he knew what his power was gonna do, and then a whole bunch of catastrophe happened, and shit got real really quick. <laughs> but anyway. One of my favorite games right there. Final Fantasy XII. I did not enjoy... This game was fun, but I just didn't like the character. Like, the characters in this game was kind of sad. The characters in this game were just sad. Except for Fran and Balthier. Balthier and Fran were pretty cool. But every other character, like Vaughn and Pinello, man, I, I just couldn't get into this game. There was like no character interacting at all. Like, it was so boring to me, like the characters just were so boring as fuck. 
Anyway, and then on to the game I'm pretty sure everybody loves. Kingdom Hearts 2. This game... Man, this game came out so long ago, dude. I was, I was waiting for this freaking third game to come out for like almost eight years now. Well, I wouldn't say eight. I, I say about six. I think I had the receipt for this one still, too. You know I had the receipt somewhere. I guess I don't. But I know I bought this from a Walmart. A Walmart all the way back when this game had came out. I think it was in May. But anyway, let's start with... I thought I had more PS2 games, to be honest. I know I did. What the hell? What's that last? I know there's one more. I'm missing one more. Probably one of the more better ones, too. We'll, we'll go through everything, and then if I find it... Yeah, whatever. PSP. The shitty... <laughs> display model that GameStop usually has when you buy games. But anyway, this is Fantasy Star Portable 2. This is actually my second time owning this game. The game, this is one of the first Fantasy, no, that was the second Fantasy Star game I played. And the series is pretty fun. I mean, it's pretty grindy, but it's pretty fun to play with multiple people online. Uh, and, and I like the combat in here. It's action oriented, not no turn based stuff. That's why I like these ty type of games. The same reason why I like Tales of the Abyss or, you know, the Tales series, because they're more, instead of, you know, like in Persona where it was turn based, it's actually like action oriented, where you can control the actions of all the characters and their moves. But anyway, Final Fantasy 4, yeah, I pretty much almost own every Final Fantasy game at this point except for probably the first one and the second one but Final Fantasy 4 this is a, this is actually probably my favorite Final Fantasy not 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 uh, this remake is okay but it, the favorite my favorite Final Fantasy 4 remake was on the DS where they actually gave you an augment system which was pretty cool cuz I think it, it it made the gameplay a lot more funner that way it wasn't just generic as hell. It was pretty fun. But anyway, let's see. I still got everything to this. Look, I never even opened this stuff. Whatever this is. I think this is like a card pack. And I also have a DLC code for the Night of the Twin Moon for Dissidia. I also have that game. I have uh, du Duodecimum Dissidia 2 or whatever the fuck it is. It's pretty much the second version of the city, which is a PSP fighting game of Final Fantasy characters. But let's see when did I buy this? I bought it last year around April. I know that. Can you guys see that? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let me sharpen this up. You guys should be able to see it now. Yep. On the sixth, eleventh of June 2011 is when I bought that. I always keep my receipts, man. <laughs> Tells of the world, Radiant Mythology. Now someone mentioned in the comment if I ever played this game. Well, this answers your question right here. <laughs> this game was hell of a lot of fun. It had like all this, it, it was like, this game is like basically it has most of like the first generation Tales characters inside this game. It had characters from Tales of Symphonia, Tales of the Abyss, Legendia. All, I think it had it up to Legendia, I believe. Yeah, Legendia. It had everyone up until, not everyone, but a lot of the characters up until Tales of Legendia is what I can remember. I don't think they had any more, I think it was until Radiant Mythology 2 when they started adding like Graces characters, Tales of Hearts characters and such, but yeah, this was a fun game. I wish it had. I wish this game was online. This game would have been so perfect if it had online play. It would have just been outstanding. And I hope like they do that in the future for another Tales game. They do Radiant Mythology, but just have it activated for online play, where you can play up to four players. That'd be epic. I, I know they can pull it off. They're just too lazy. <laughs> to build that net, that network for that game. Anyway, on to the next game. Crisis Core. 
I love this game. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. I love it more than Final Fantasy VII. Because the story to this is so much better. I love the ending to this game. I almost shed a t I did shed a tear, okay? To this game. I ain't gonna spoil it, but that shit was sad. That, that shit was sad, man. As soon as I beat the game, it started raining. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Alright, so it's still good. It's still good. I think I had just recently rebought this and played it again. Just last year. Let's see. <laughs> the 9th, 19th of August, 2011. I love this game so much, man. My brother had originally bought it, and I had borrowed his PSP in the game, and I just fell in love with that game, so I had to get it myself. But anyway, on to the next game. Seriously, I wish they would, like, remake this game again, but for the PS3, that game was just so good. Toads of Eternia. Now, this game wasn't released in the U.S. This game was actually only in the U.K. territory, or the PAL territories, I believe. And then, if I gotta say one bad thing about this game, is the voice acting. Oh my, I don't ever complain about voice acting, but this game, this game was, like... This is the second worst game that had the voice acting was so bad. The first game I stay to say that has the worst voice acting ever would most likely be Chaos Wars. People complain about Chie's new voice. They go watch Chaos Wars. Or go see someone play that game and listen to the voices. That shit is horrendous. That's like the definition of bad voice acting. But anyway, this game I, I haven't even beat it. I played like the first four hours, but I just quit because there were so many other games I, I could play at the time. I need to restart playing this game. Maybe that might be another playthrough in the future, but who knows. A lot of these games I haven't even uh, beat, like Star Ocean, The First Departure, as well as The Second Evolution. Now, I played the only two games I beat of the series were The Last Hope, as well as... What do, you, what do you call that game? <laughs> Till the end of time that you've seen earlier. Those two games I liked, but I did not like getting a platinum trophy on The Last Hope. That shit is just irritating. But I never even touched this game yet. I, I seen the opening credits and such, but I said I'm not going to play it until I beat The First Departure. Now, I beat, I beat like the first two hours. I, I got... <laughs> I got into the first two hours of this game, but I haven't even continued to do it because I've been too lazy to slack off. Like, the, black, the backlog I have for these games is just ridiculous right now. But I guess we can move to our DS games all the way over here. Ooh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> okay. Let's start off with Tales of Fantasia. Which isn't a DS game, which is a Game Boy Advance game. It's pretty funny because I, I believe I own almost every Tales game that was released in the US possible, except for Tales of Legendia. And then there's one more I'm missing too. I don't think I'm missing any though. But anyway, Tales of Fantasia was a pretty fun game. The coolest character. I don't even think I beat this game. I got to the part where you recruit Clarth. I think that's his name, Claus the Claws or something. I forgot what his name was, but I'm pretty sure I didn't beat this game. I think I got like halfway through it. I got to some seaside town. I know in this one you actually get summons. You have to go around beating the summon spirits and such, I think. And then you had some dude that collected the uh, summon spirits. Or he could uh, summon spirits like in uh, Tales of... Oh yeah, that's what this game is. It's actually like a prequel. To, no, not a prequel, but a sequel. To, it's not even a sequel. Tales of Symphonia is like a prequel to this game, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I need to look up my information, but I'm pretty sure Tales of Symphonia and Fantasia are connected somehow. Speaking of more Tales game, Tales of Destiny. A game I still haven't even even started. I got it off of eBay for like 50 bucks, but 
Just look how crisp it, the, the condition on this game is still, like, nothing's wrong with it. It was like in new condition, like somebody had it like, just tuck it out the plastic wrap and didn't even play it themselves, and I bought it. The disc is not in there, but it's on the second part. I'm not sure why they made this fat ass case, but it comes with the disc. The disc is still in crisp condition with the damn manual, which is still there. So I'm pretty happy about that. So anyway, let's go on to the next game, Final Fantasy IX, which is not a bad game, which is also another game I never beat. I, I'll, I got to like the fourth disc, I got to the final castle. I think you had time to beat that game or beat the, the final dungeon. No, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I know I got to the final dungeon and I quit. I remember beat this game is so cool because I remember like I did a challenge. I got to that Uzma boss. It's like a secret boss that you can be. It's like one of the toughest boss in the games. And his name is like Ozma Uzma or whatever. And I beat that boss on level 21. I beat it on level 21. I was so happy about that because I love this I, I love to play these games and do the challenges on here. And the two coolest characters, like the characters in this Final Fantasy were pretty cool. They were all unique, unlike Final Fantasy XII. That game, that was probably one of my, I think that's one of the worst Final Fantasy games. <laughs> when it comes to story, I just, I just did not like that one because of the character was so boring. But this is this pretty much made up. I, I still look back on these games like, man, I, I really had a lot of fun with this game. But the jewel case is cracked in the back, as you can see, but whatever. It's all good, as long as the game still works. Final Fantasy VIII. Squall. You know what his last name is? It's, it's Leon. It's Leon Hart. I don't care what anybody says, I did not get Lionheart from this. I actually got Lionheart from Tales of Symphonia because there's a weapon in Tales of Symphonia called Corleonis. I looked it up one day. And it said Lionheart. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna actually use that for my username. <laughs> but anyway, I did not get my username from this game. I did not. <laughs> but I love this. Not really. I, I didn't even beat it, to be honest. I, I collect these games, but I don't ever beat them. I'm so sad. And you can see, like, this game went through a lot of wear and tear. I got it back in 2001. A whole bunch of shit has happened. Look at that. I don't even know how that happened. I'm not sure how that label got t tore off in the inside. Like, how the fuck did that? How does that even work? Jeez. But anyway, on to the next one. Yes, one of the coolest games on the DS, in my opinion. I had spent so many hours with my friends playing Fantasy Star Zero. There's a couple, this game is pretty fun, like these games, like I was saying before, are pretty fun when you play with friends online. Like, the gameplay is so addicting, and then just hunting for rare items is so addicting that I, I just couldn't stop it. I just had to have the best element on my weapon. I it had to have the best affinity. Like, I know like, in, like, weapons in this game, they drop, and they come in different elements, like fire, ice or whatever and then they have like level and depending on the percentage is how much damage that element does to whatever enemy so i mean i don't want to go into it but it was just fun playing this game with friends <laughs> pokemon diamond i don't think i have much to say but dialga my dialga man you don't want to see my dialga I think he has max, my Dialga has max IVs and special attack. His special attack was like 410 or something, 408, something around that. But my Dialga, man, I, <laughs> people don't like le using legendaries in battles, but I don't even enter tournaments, but I like just playing Pokemon because it's Pokemon. The first game I ever owned was Pokemon. Go figure. So you know what? I had to keep the tradition alive and get every other Pokemon game. Except for Black and White 2. Like, I couldn't even keep up with the Pokemon series at 
Like, once it got to black and white too, I just like, what the hell? I didn't even finish Soul Silver <laughs> or Heart Gold. I was so salty. I just couldn't keep up, so I just kind of gave up on Pokemon after Black and White 2 came out. Resident Evil Res Revelations, a game I didn't even beat. It's not in the case because I have it in a separate case, a carrying case like this case. And I might as well show you the D 3DS too. Revelations. This game, I heard this game was actually, no, this game is, that shit was kind of scary because I was playing this game in the dark. That shit was... It was creepy. It was creepier than Resident Evil 6, to be honest, but I didn't beat it. I got to the, after the, it was like, it was the mission after the laser hit. That's why I quit. Like, they was destroying this town with this laser. But anyway, I want to show you something. Let me show you my 3DS. I have the limited edition Zelda... Ocarina of Time 3DS, which is pretty dope because I like the gold, uh, the gold, whatever you call this. <laughs> I don't know what is what I'm supposed to say. It's like engraved into the damn 3DS, but it's pretty cool, man. I like it. I keep it clean, so nothing's nothing's wrong with it. I clean it like every other day. Even if I don't play it, I'll like make a habit to clean it so I can keep it in good condition. So if I do decide to sell it. Someone will have a nice clean 3DS. What it tells of the abyss is in the game. That was the last game was planned. On to the next one. Golden Sun Dark Dawn. A game I was so mad because this game was not as good as the Lost Age with Felix in the game. Where I mean they, they eventually all combined together, but this game is pretty much the children's story. I didn't like the game as much, so I quit playing it. I didn't think it was as epic as the second one, or the first one for all that. The first one was pretty good. The second one was amazing. The third one was, man, they could have did better. They could have did way better. There go Pokemon White. I, I got to like the third gym and I quit playing the game. I got to the third gym, and then literally, when I got to the third gym, when they announced Pokemon White and Black 2, I'm like, fuck this shit, I can't keep up. So I just quit playing the game. I just quit playing the game, dude. I own like two copies of this game, but my brother sold this. He sold another one. My brother, my second older brother, sold this copy when we all lived together. I was so mad. I was so mad, this game, this is my favorite remake, this is my favorite Final Fantasy, my favorite version of Final Fantasy 4, because of the augment system they had added into this game. It was so epic, and the graphics were pretty good too. I didn't like the PSP remake all that much. It was pretty much the original game, but easier. But this one was a lot, it was like the Japanese version, it was like, a, it was like the hard version, and then they had gave you the augment system. Pretty much. Now, that's this game was my favorite. That's my favorite Final Fantasy game. And then, as you can tell, I, <laughs> I, I bought this game two times only because I'm gonna keep saying this throughout this whole video. My brother sold one of the copies. He didn't sell uh, the the case, but he sold one of the damn copies to the damn game. See, one one's not in there, but the other one is. As you can see, and I even still have the poster and everything for that. The world ends with you. I logged like 70 hours into this game, all right? But I never got past the first week. Only because I didn't realize there was anything more to the game after the first week. <laughs> I thought I beat the game uh, when I got to like the sixth day. I was tripping, man. I don't know what the hell. like. The mentality I have when I when it comes to beating games is just awkward, dude. But this game was pretty fun. What I'll do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and split this video because my camcorder can only record up to 28 or 29 minutes. So give me a quick second here and, uh, and I'll be back shortly. So I'll see you guys later.